Hi, so Sarah. We've been talking a lot about 5G here at Action Week this week. Can you tell us what 5G is? Sure, I can. So um, when people think about 5G now, it's, it's going to be a different story than uh, 3G and 4G or LT, whatever you like to call it, mm -hmm. which used to be more discussion around a new radio interface. Yeah. 5G will encapsulate more, so it will, it will inevitably uh, need to tie together um, things like SDN and FE mm -hmm. with uh, other industry verticals and provide a platform for uh, service providers to actually um, uh, reach into new industries and provide new service offerings. Uh, and really at heart create new business models for service providers in these new ecosystems. And so why is everybody talking about it now? What's the urgency? Well, the urgency is that there is a, uh, a goal set to try to be um, out in operation with 5G solutions in not too many years from now. Yeah. Um, and as everybody knows, it takes a lot of time to, uh, to agree on how, how it should be done. What, just to understand the problem space is hard. Yeah. Uh, so we really need to get, wrap our uh, uh, hands and arms around this and, and, and tackle the issues. And from a foreign perspective, uh, we want to make sure that we align what we do with our membership as closely as possible with uh, the other relevant industry bodies out there. And what, what will TM Forum offer that other people perhaps don't offer? So what we, what we are known for, of course, is uh, our, uh, uh, this is a place to go for management and orchestration, end-to-end -end across service providers, across administrative domains. Mm -hmm. uh, this is something we will absolutely uh, contribute with in the 5G context as well. But we also have other things within the forum, uh, for instance, uh, the ability for service providers to uh, connect into other digital ecosystems. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of ongoing work in that space yeah. and that will be an, another important area for, for 5G to solve those problems. So we're already uh, looking into how we can support uh, organizations like NGMN who have already spanned 25 user stories within this space, all ranging from things like sensor networks to, uh, uh, to wireless cars to uh, uh, to planes, to, to uh, all sorts of applications that go beyond pure communications as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so what we want to do is ex extract the, the patterns from this, mm -hmm. be part of, of solving the underlying problems, but also enable those business models that needs to be, needs to be enabled. So that's the reason why we have met together uh, this week with uh, a number of our members uh, while we are here at Action Week this week in Morristown, mm -hmm. to actually go through uh, the, TM, the TM Forum's position within 5G and what we should be doing and what we shouldn't be doing. Mm -hmm. So we've, we've been together with uh, the likes of Verizon, uh, uh, KDDI Labs, um, 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 STC in, in Saudi Arabia, and a number, of, a number of vendors like Ericsson, Huawei, uh, Oracle, JDSU. Yeah. Uh, so, but still a small group of people with lots of good knowledge and input into the process. Uh, and our ambition is to set up a collaboration project okay. so that we can drive this formally within the forum and connecting it back to our other programs that are highly relevant. Because if you look at what we're doing right now, we, are, we have a, an ambitious program that's been very successful around uh, SDN and FV and virtualization in general yeah. called Zoom. It fits like a hand in glove for, for, this, for, this, uh, uh, for this problem space. But we also have an open digital initiative with, with relevant assets and content yeah. that we will try to link in to the work we, we, we think we should be doing in 5G. So who should come along to join this project and who do you need to make it work? So like always, we need the people who are um, thought leaders, uh, but that's not enough. We also need them to have time to devote to this effort because without time there won't be uh, anything produced. Uh, so our initial thought will be to base our discussion on a set of uh, identifying the, the, the clear set of representative user stories that actually span the problem space yeah. and based on this deduct this, um, identify the patterns that will emerge when you look at all these simultaneously yeah. that will then drive what we're doing into these other programs. Uh, so we need people who have the business requirements, who understand uh, not just the technical aspect of this, mm -hmm. but to actually understand what needs to happen in order to make 5G a business, a, a sound business proposition. And as you say, they need to put the time in, so what's, what's in it for them, what are they going to get out of it? 
hopefully clarity. I think clarity will be the first thing that anybody will get. By simply coming together to collaborate around a topic, you will immediately understand what other people are doing and their thinking. And just that knowledge will simplify life because you don't have to be worried about uh, what you're doing internally within your own organization, but in fact, you can start learning from each other. Um, so that's the first thing. The other thing that I think will be a benefit for, for people coming in is that we will connect uh, the thread back to other organizations, being them uh, uh, 3GPP, uh, um, ITUR, ITUT, uh, IEEE, and we will, we will try to keep uh, NGMN definitely, and we will try to be uh, um, part of this um, uh, mapping of responsibilities that need to happen in order to successfully uh, give responsibility to the appropriate place for solving problems in this space. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you, Sarah.